Okay, so oh, uh, at the Bridget Center, which is the old St. Bridget Church. Yeah. Is this town of Kewaskum? It's actually town of Wayne, and we're on oh. Town Line Road. So right across the street, the cemetery, is the town of Kewaskum. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yep. And the doors? And the doors. Here we have the doors, which formerly had the cross, the Christian cross in it, which is still there, but the doors have been changed back into trees, which the wood was originally from, right? Um, an artist came forward with this expression. We also have two very large trees that are kind of a symbol in the in the, um, the yard here. So these two trees are significant. They have the roots, and they're just a, an expression of new life, I guess. Sure. Uh, something new evolving here. And um, just to show that it's out of this comes this. Sure, <laughs> sure. So we, we thought it was, and um, somebody came forward and wanted to pay for this impression to be put on the doors. and. Um, so these doors actually have been blessed by people from all, all traditions that have come here since we've gotten the keys to this place in 2012, and really every tradition has been here. I've invited many people here, and sure. it's been kind of neat. Sure. So, um, so here we have, uh, oh, we just have experiences where we do arts, and this is one of them. So I think the word one is pretty significant right now as we're moving into a, a new place of unifying in the world. Uh -huh. And so your little bit of history on St. Bridget was uh -huh. built in? It was built in 1880, 1868. Uh, of course, community happened here on this hilltop years before that. Um, as the Catholic Irish settlers came to gather also German on this hilltop. And that's, I think the cemeteries are always starting before the community forms. And just like we're going to be doing green burial here, People want a different way of doing burial. I think the community is going to form around that, of caring for the earth and whatnot. But um, this is a beautiful chapel building. It resonates with the energy of many prayers for many years. And uh, just love the uh, expression of it. So you said the 1800s? 1800s, late okay. 1800s, yeah. And uh, the, the former altars were there. You can see the silhouettes on the wall. Um, they were removed and about kind of taking it away from that experience and into a center really of uh, coming to the center. We have a book collection here. The books are from Final Lake Center for Spirituality and Healing. Um, they're here on home and indefinitely, but they really speak for more the nourishing perspective. And, uh, of course, this is a And the choir loft? The choir yeah. loft. Well, actually, we've got a little bit, bit of a movement of feminine energy here, so we have what's called a red tent up there. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Dalai Lama says he thinks the second coming is going to be um, the resourceful Western women <laughs> uh, that come together to um, create change in the world. Yeah. And uh, so we're just kind of gathering that energy sure. here. And then you said um, you found uh, something. Oh, we There's found took the altar out there was a big cavern a 15 foot um, cavern and down in there was some burnt wood from when this building had burnt down at one time before it went up as stone later so you know it this church community that was once here went through an evolution of, of such you know where they lost everything and had to rebuild and I think that's what we're doing right now and we're coming together in many new ways what was the 15-foot cavern for? It was just a hole that was never filled and it was never covered because huh. they just put this platform on top of it with the, the wood, right? And, uh, it's very clean. I mean, just very... Um, we are really working hard to keep it that way because as soon as you bring in symbols and different symbols and the images that matter to some, it triggers others right now. Okay. So we need to just um, stay connecting with um, the nature and uh, sure. bring nature in, indoors to nurture us. And was this um, the priest? This was a sacristy. Yes. Okay, because you said this was a Catholic church. Yeah, this was okay. a sacristy where really only the priest and the altar boy would <laughs> be allowed in sure. and, or use this door. And um, 
Yeah, I'm sorry, it's kind of a storage space right at the That's moment. That's all right. <laughs> Those windows are brilliant. Are, all right, is they, all that yeah, original? They are, indeed. Okay. Yeah, and then so you said... Uh, out here. Oh, all right. All right. So the labyrinth was done uh, three years ago. Um, it's uh, the same labyrinth that, that Chartres Cathedral in France, the same pattern. It's called the medieval pattern. And labyrinths are designed one way in, leads to the center, one way out. So it's not like a maze where you get stuck and start stopping. Uh -huh. But um, it's really a relaxing walking meditation for those that um, are field meditators that have to sit still. <laughs> but uh, kind of... Sure. Moves your brain back and forth and loosens up all those thoughts that are taking over. And that was the school then? Yeah, the there. School. Yeah, let's take a look. And then the church, do you know what uh, kind of stone? Um, well, it's field, it's field stone. Okay. Yeah, um, the school building is uh, limestone. But, uh, and then I see you have a bell. Yes, we do. A beautiful bell tower with two bells in it that we only ring on special occasions right now. <laughs> but. Uh, do you get the rope? Do you get to swing up with a yeah, rope? Yeah. Is that yeah, is that how old it is? Yes, it is. We can go up there and look. Like yeah. 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 Um, but you know, if we were here just a few months ago, this is all brilliant with color. Sure. Um, lots and lots of um, you know flowers and uh, herbs are here. We had a, a group of herbalists come and do an earth spiral. I mean, a, an herb spiral right here. Food. Uh -huh. and, uh, well, this is a brilliant view out here. Yeah.